<laughs> comes from, well, there's no W in Latin. It doesn't exist. Well, it used to. It's a right. It's a religious right. Because the, um, let me say this correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, the scribe and a notary, what's a scribe and a notary? He, he makes the writs. He puts the curse on you, the summons, whatever it is, a bill, Telstra. It has to, it comes from a writ, right? And the scribe and a, scribe, the nay, from Verne Latin is, guess what? Our little friend, the indulgence. That's an indulgence. The writer of indulgences. They're telling you in your face, and we don't see it. A warrant. What's a warrant? Well, it seals the writ. It seals the writ. So it indemnifies the king and the queen from being sued if they lose. That's what a warrant is. Warrant comes from seal of the writ and is a form of indulgence. Hearing, well I've already gone through that, it's a confession. That's what a hearing is. Isn't this sick? Don't you think? Uh, it's, it makes you sick. It makes you sick. And, 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 and that's what's going on. And it's run by insane people. Oh, what's sentence? It's penitence. Penance. Absolution. Prison or a fine. Uh, prosecutor. Pro se cutus. Three words. Pro se cutus. The skin. Pro self. Uh, self. Um, present. Uh, it's um, representing one's own flesh. Or a person who is claiming to be you making a self accusation. So those warrants that come to your house or whatever. Um, they are prosecuting you, right? So they're claiming to be you. They're just using that name on the trust. Attorney, turn over. Attorney tells you, I turn you over. That's what it means. You bring an attorney with you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you help me. Come on, man. Let's, let's go and see the judge. And uh, tell him what to say. Uh, you, you tell him. And guess what? You find yourself in prison and you look at your attorney and he goes, well, I tried, you know. I said, they work for the same guy. They're all getting commissions. That's why, that's why the prosecution is always required to bring their checkbook to court. Because if they can't get you to swap roles with him, you become the trustee, he becomes the beneficiary, and get you to prosecute your own sentence. If they can't do that, they bear the liability. They're going surety for it. They're prosecuting. So... They're bringing the liability. They're charging your trust account. So, in, in a beautiful, on, on the websites that I showed you, <coughs> on this one here, Spiritual Economics Now, you can go there to a page. It's beautiful. Please read this. This is the best five pages I think you'll ever read by Franco Collins. Right? All those websites are, are linked to my website, the Top One Universal Truth School, or you can go straight to them. But if you go here, you'll find the links, you can get to all of those, and in here is the information that Serena's going to share with you next about how to collapse these trusts and how to create ecclesiast ecclesiastical deed poles and to create a new birth certificate. That's called a live-born record, right? And I'll have a new trust number. And I have a, 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 a universal, not a Roman date for my uh, birthday. Uh, anyway, we can, Serena will be making that a little bit clearer. What do you say in court? Court, who's who and what to say. This is what Franco Collins suggests. And that's, I'm going to finish up with that and tidy up. Serena will do her bit after we have a break and then we can do some question and answers after that. All right? And believe me, Serene's got some beautiful things to share with you because she is um, really, really leading in Victoria and, and spearheading this, this technology. So, um, but the most important thing, guys, is to get on here. There are audio files. You can listen to, there's about 16 audio files on talkshoe.com, is it? Or dot .org? It's dot .com. It, you, you'll find it, there's a link to it 
here in, 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 in these, there are links to it, but you can download Frank O'Collins' uh, audio files and learn all this. I've just been learning this in the last three months. This is what to say. We all know from our indoctrination programming and schooling that judges are impartial and have sworn an oath to this effect. This means we must, he must not favour either plaintiff or defendant, but our experience reveals that he does indeed favour the plaintiff, indicating a glaring conflict of interest. That the prosecutor, judge and clerk all work for the state, the owner of the Sestwi KV Trust, so, as the case is not about justice, it is about administration of a trust. They all represent, represent the trust owned by the state and, if we are beneficiary, the only two positions left are trustee and executor. There's only three posi positions connected to these trusts. And the state, the Vatican, owns them. So if you detect the judge's impartiality, although I doubt the case will get this far, you might want to let him know that you know this. If you consider court as entertainment and if you can stand the evil emanating from its offices, the fear, the angst oozing from the walls and the treacherous atmosphere, then go. Knowing that under trust law, we cannot be trustee or executor of a trust while being beneficiary as that would as that would be a conflict. The position of be beneficiary may lack clout, but the other positions hold liability. Remember? He brings the writ, he brings, he brings the case to court, the hearing, come and confess, you've been accused, talk to the judge, tell him what you talk to the priest of Baal, he's dressed in black there all for you, monetizing sin, pay, because what they do is they dip in to our Sestwi KV accounts if, because they've got our numbers, there's three numbers birth certificate number, tax file number, and social security number. They are the three major numbers. There are other numbers. They're the numbers that follow you around all your life for 75 years. That's why they demand that you retire before 75, because these birth certificates, they only run 75 years. Because it's all about banking. This is also about banking, guys. Libya is one of only four or five nations on earth that still own their dollar. Thank you very much say no more. The Rothschilds, they want their banks, they want these Sestwi KVs going, 666, the mark of the beast, they want it all around the world and they think they're going to bring in the new world order. This is the new world order because as it morphs, remember Constantine and the Julian evil, how did Julius Caesar get to power? He ran fire departments in Rome and if you didn't pay, you found that your neighbourhood would get burnt to the ground. That's how he got into power. It's mafia. It's all mafia. It's all, look, there you go. Beautiful couple, aren't they? That is the king of pedophiles. That is the queen of pirates. They've been running the Hudson Bay Company and the East India Company selling drugs to the Chinese. They're pirates. They ran the pirates. She's the queen of pirates. They hire mercenaries. They hire inquisitional soldiers. These guys are dupes. They, these guys think they're doing their job and they're doing something good. They've got the afterlife to deal with after they've been persecuting people. That's the private guilds that run this from the temple bar. They are above the Vatican. Only these people, because that land was granted to them in absolute they are the only ones in history who have that land. Therefore, they can do this. And since 1815, since the Rothschilds bankrupted the Bank of England and England and took over those private guilds, we've been under that family, Kazarian family. That's what they are. I'd just like to ask a question. I wonder if they've been introduced to these people yet. I wonder if they know that they live on the same planet. And the guy who shot this film, by the way, he went home, he was from New York. He shot this and committed suicide. That's the story about it. That's a famous picture. Because he went there and he saw that and he saw this bird is going to eat that little kid. Now they, why are these people suffering and starving? Because this system has stolen the wealth of the whole world. And we have to wake up a few more things about what to say in court. This would be a surprise if you have to go to court.
When the name of the trust, example John Doe, is called by the judge, ACCA administrator, ACCA trustee, you can stand and ask, are you saying that the trust which we are now administering is the John Doe Trust, Your Honour? And you watch him turn white. The moment you, what's the word? Um, <clears throat> in, the, in the moment you just show an inkling of that knowledge, because they are hiding this fact, they are denying that they're operating trust law. We can stand up, okay, uh, uh, this establishes that we know that the name is a trust, not a live man. What's the judge's first question? What is your name? State your name for the record. We must be very careful not to identify with the name of the trust, because doing so makes us the trustee. What does this tell you about the judge? If we know that the judge is the trustee, then we know that the judge is the name but only for this particular constructive trust, which is the case. Prosecution, it's a hearing, it's in the Inquisition. Now, think about all the times that the judge have become so frustrated by our refusal to admit to being the name that they issue a warrant and then as soon as the man leaves, he is arrested. How idiotic is that? They must feel foolish for saying, John Doe is not in the court, so I'm issuing a warranty, warrant for his arrest, and then the man whom they just admitted is not there, is arrested, because he is there. That's how it works, this personal fiction. It's disgusting. Their desperation makes them insane. They must get us to admit to being the name, or they pay. Remember, he's got to bring his checkbook along, man, because he, he has to pay if he fails to shift the liability over to us, and we prosecute, and we sign. That's, and we, sorry, we execute our own sentence. <clears throat> um, this is beautiful, what you're going to learn here. This is really, really beautiful. They're desperate. They must get us to admit to being the name or they pay and we must not accept their coercion or we pay. Because the judge is the trustee, a, pre a precarious position the best thing to say in that case is, John Doe is indeed in the court, Your Honour. Point to the judge, it is you as trustee. You are jo John Doe today, aren't you? Why not? Why not? We have dominion. We are men and women. We're not persons. We're not. We can't keep going with, with the fiction. Why? Why would you? It's insane. During their, frust um, <clears throat> during their frustration over not admitting to being the, a trust name, the trustee and or executor of the trust, we ought to ask who they are. Before we go any further, I need to know who you are. Address the clerk of the court. The trustee for the Sestwick KV Trust owned by the state province. Are you the Sestawi KV trustee who has appointed this judge as a